Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> So welcome, my name is Alice Frank, um, I'm Alice Frank Fit on all socials, Instagram and TikTok. I do fitness, lifestyle, content. This is my first YouTube video, it's going to be a glutes and hamstring session today, I'm going to take you through my split, um, what I do. Glutes has been a bit of a love-hate relationship for me, I'm a big quads girl, I love training quads, I love the way it feels, I love the way that they look and my glutes have kind of just been neglected and you know we can't be neglecting stuff and especially not glutes we don't want a flat ass so my goal this year was to build big round glutes and hopefully it is going really well like i'm really motivated i'm really liking my training at the moment a big thing for me because i neglected them and didn't put much effort into them i couldn't really mind muscle connect with them i didn't really know what i was doing it just i couldn't really feel it and all my quads will just take over. So at the moment, I'm really prioritizing and just lowering the weight, the weight, making sure that I can feel every single movement in my glutes and hopefully progressing quite a lot and growing some big, big glutes. So that's exciting. But today I'm wearing Full Vanquish Fitness, which is a brand that I'm absolutely loving at the moment. I'm wearing the Rejuvenate hoodie, which is my favorite, favorite hoodie ever I just love it so much the back I'll put a picture up but the back is so nice I'm wearing the Elevate collection this is in the new color so the Elevate collection's out already this is in the new color denim blue and then there's burgundy and also a brown coming out as well and I'm also wearing the new style of like um tight fitted long sleeve tops which is really nice um so they're really nice on leg day because instead of wearing a really baggy baggy t-shirt it's nice to just have a fitted top that is also covering as well because my gym is so cold so cold and you need some layers sometimes yeah i'm rambling i'm taking you through a glutes and hamstrings workout i hope you enjoy it i hope it's not too busy in there and i will see you in there So at the beginning of my workout, I like to do the abductor machine alongside my dynamic warm-up. So I do three sets of 10 reps and in between each set, I do a dynamic exercise where I really prioritize opening up my hips, warming up my body and getting ready for the workout. The reason why I like to do the abductor machine first is because then I can get a proper warm up done and also means I won't miss it out at the end of the workouts when I'm tired. So the next exercise is Smith Machine Hip Thrusts. I'll do two warm-up sets here. So the first set, I'll have about 50% of my normal working weight. So when I get to the third set, it will be my normal weight that I usually lift. So I like to position myself on the end of a bench. I like to do this just so if I'm on the side of a bench, usually I'll want to rest my arms on that bench. So putting myself at the end of the bench means that I'll just be able to rest my back on there and then work with my glutes properly. The part of my back that is on the bench is just in between my shoulder blades. So I don't want to be any higher and I don't want to be any lower than that. During the movement, you wanna make sure that your chin is tucked into your chest the whole time. On the way down, you wanna make sure that your glutes are fully stretched and then squeeze them all the way up to the ceiling, pushing your weight through your heels, keeping your knees stacked over your feet.
So for our third exercise, we have the lying hamstring curl. So with this exercise, you want to make sure just your thighs are on the bench. You don't want your knees pressing on that pad because it will cause pain. So on the way up, you want to squeeze your hamstrings nice and tight, keeping your glutes nice and pressed against that pad because they will want to rise up, putting a lot of strain in your lower back, which we don't want. On the eccentric, go down nice and controlled and go as far as your flexibility goes. So you don't want to be going too far and pushing yourself out of your range of motion just because you'll be putting a lot of strain in your lower back trying to pull the weight up from the bottom. By the last set, I was getting pretty tired, so I started to work on the eccentric part of the movement. On the way up, I used both legs, and then on the way down, I swapped it to just one of the legs, slowly controlling the weight down. We're much stronger on the eccentric part of the movement than the concentric. So at the end, when you're getting tired, instead of putting the weight down, we're working on developing different parts of the movement. So the next exercise we have, are, so the next exercise we have is Romanian deadlifts. We want to hinge back at the hips and really feel the stretch in your glutes and hamstrings. Whenever I hinge my hips back, I always like to think that I've got a rope on my bum and someone is pulling it from directly behind me. And you wanna push your glutes all the way back in a straight line. And then when coming up, you wanna push your glutes all the way forward. I always find people think it's an up-down movement where actually it's a left to right movement. You just wanna forget about your top half and just think about the glutes pushing back the movement of your hips getting pushed back will cause the top half of your body to then come down and the same on the way up. And lastly, you wanna brace your core, which will keep everything nice and tight, keeping your back nice and neutral and stop it from bending and putting strain on your lower back. The last exercise in this workout are cable step ups and I'm really liking the way you can connect your glutes with this exercise. So just like the RDLs, you want to push your hips back and really push your glutes back behind you, feeling the stretch all the way on the way down. To come up, you want to contract your glutes and push them forward and that will bring you up.
When I'm at the bottom of the movement, my non-working leg touches the floor. I don't put any weight through it and just put everything through my working leg on the bench and really squeeze my glutes to bring myself up. I am back. Um, workout is done. It went really well, actually. I really enjoyed it. As I've been saying, I'm really motivated to have um, some glutes, but really motivated to just get on top of my glute training, really progress in the weights and the exercises, um, and just not have such quad dominant legs because we all want a big bum. The thing about my workout today is. I am slap bang in the middle of my period, so it is the time of the month for me. And so I regress, regressed quite a lot today in the exercises. And if I did this session a couple of years ago, I would have been so disheartened about not being able to get the same weight, thinking I'm not progressing. And actually, we do need to be so mindful as girls that we're going through big changes every single month. Like, we're not going to be able to lift the same weight and it's not going to be easy. So we just need to be really patient, kind to our bodies, listen to our bodies. Um, I listened to my body and regressed where I could, push myself where I could. And yeah, I just really enjoyed it. And you want to make sure that you're not putting too much pressure on this process because it is for a long time. We don't want this fitness journey to be just for a couple of months. It is for a lifetime. And why rush and ruin something that is so like beautiful? The process is so beautiful. We need to enjoy it and make sure that our sort of health and happiness and our mental health is really prioritised in this. A bit of a ramble, but if there's any content you want to see, any content that you like watching from other fitness creators um, and you want to see me do, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to get through them. I will see you soon. If you don't see me, DM me and keep me accountable. I want to make sure this is consistent and like get a nice um, sort of channel going and a nice community going. But yeah, please subscribe if you did like this video and I shall see you soon. I was looking for myself, then I found you Looking after my health and I'm healing Little bit of grieving so I can be around you So I can be whole with or without you No, I don't mean to doubt you